is Saturday, October 5th, and Jason and I just got back from the fair. Um, I believe the last day is tomorrow, so we wanted to go ahead and stop and get some treats um, before they're gone for another year. Um, but anyway, <laughs> we spent the morning and the afternoon um, doing a lot of yard work. Um, we've got a lot of trees in our yard, so we bought a new leaf blower, and that was crazy how much easier it was than raking up a bunch of leaves. But um, anyway, I also trimmed back some of our azaleas because they were looking a little mangy. But um, I'll pop some footage in, or maybe I've already shown it. We'll see. Um, but anyway, today, as promised, is Darcy's introduction. Now, I hope I don't seem a little biased. Um, she is my baby. I've had her since the day she was born. Um, her mama was Lucy, who was Naomi's cat. Um, Lucy was a sweet kitty, too. She was all white, and she had blue eyes. Um, sadly, she passed away last year. But... Lucy had two kittens a few months after she was uh, rescued by us. Um, she just showed up at the house one day and of course we couldn't turn her away. Um, so anyway, I claim Darcy and um, her other litter mate looked like Lucy. She was all white with blue eyes. I don't remember if it was a boy or a girl, but um, we uh, found a home for that cat. I kind of wish I had kept them together, but it's okay. So anyway, um, Darcy is my baby. She was born December 1st, 2005, underneath Naomi's dresser. <laughs> um, so yeah, she's been very impressionable, I guess, or I, I had a very early influence on her, so I think that's why she's such a sweet cat, and she loves things like belly rubs. Um, but yeah. Let me think. Three facts about Darcy. Um, I, I could probably go on for hours about her, but she has a pink nose and pink toes. So when she purrs and she gets really excited, they turn this really like vivid pink and it's really cute. So if she's just chilling and she's not purring or anything, her nose turns white. I think it's really sweet. Um, what else? Oh, we originally thought, this is fact number two, we thought Darcy was a boy when she was a kitten. Um, and since her mama was Lucy, she got stuck with the name Linus. Well, I changed that because I was like, mm, not really crazy about that name. So I changed it to Darcy and then lo and behold, Darcy is a she and that's still okay. But yes, she is named after... Mr. Darcy. <laughs> that was terrible, I know. Um, cause yeah, I'm a big Jane Austen fan. And let's see, last fact about Darcy is she has about a gazillion nicknames. Um, Darcy Dee Dee, Dee, Ding Dong, Meowzy Dong, Dingleberry. I know that one's not very nice, but um, just one more little aside here that I forgot to mention. Darcy's all-time absolute favorite game or thing to play with is light. So, like, when the afternoon light streams in, if your phone catches it and, like, reflects it on the ground, um, she loves to chase that around. The laser pointer will do in a pinch, but it is not the light. <laughs> um, so, she is obsessed with the light. She knows what time of day to come looking for it and will bug you until you play with her. Anyway, I just for, forgot about that and wanted to throw it in. I, I don't know if you can see her, but she's right down here. That's why I keep looking at her. Um, but yeah, she's a really sweet kitty. She loves to have her belly rubbed. And bonus fact, lately she has taken to, as we're trying to fall asleep at night, just coming up and ever so gently booping us on the face. Don't know why. Sometimes she'll try to like pause all the covers away. Um, but yeah, she's a really sweet kitty. She loves to hang out in this room. So you probably saw her on the hex puff wall hanging video. But anyway, 
that is Darcy. Um, I'll just do a quick knitting update. Um, this is my sock with the Mondium yarn. I am really close to finishing this. I'm actually hoping to sit down and finish this tonight. I have roughly about nine grams of yarn left. So when I'm down to about five grams, I will go ahead and do the second cuff. And then I'm thinking tomorrow I can go ahead and split these and get the toes and heels put in. Um, because I'd like to have them ready by Tuesday. So hopefully that doesn't give too much away for my plan for these. Um, yeah, and then um, the only other thing that I was going to mention is um, since tomorrow is Sunday, we're really not doing anything interesting here. I plan on sitting on the couch all day and knitting, so I'm probably not going to record anything. Um, I'll just pick up back with y'all on Monday. Um, yeah, so I want to work on my stalactite tomorrow, which I started ripping back on already. Um, I may try to put a few rows on my L10, but we'll see. Um, and then I, I picked up some acrylic yesterday, like in a rainbow of colors, um, to make some more amigurumi. And I started a little duck earlier um, for my niece. So those are, that's my plan for tomorrow. That's literally it. We're probably going to sit on the couch all day and watch football. Um, I don't even have anything here for dinner. It'll probably be leftovers. <laughs> but yeah, that is my day. Um, I will, of course, either I've already shown you some footage or pop it in here. Um, so thank you for watching. Again, thumbs up, subscribe, all that jazz. And I will see you guys on Monday. Bye.